Hello Pythagoramas, so this is gonna be a very short but a very important video because in this video we'll see that what are some of the updates that you can expect from Python 3.9. Now Python 3.9 beta was already released a few weeks back. Now let me show you the timeline of how the Python 3.9 is working. Here you can see that the first alpha was released on 19 11 2019 which was previous year and now the final uh, release of python 3.9 is expected to be on 5 10 which is 5 october okay so now python is coming with many new features and some of them are very exciting now there are also a few new modules introduced which I will explain you in separate videos but this video is totally focused on explaining you these three methods or these three updates. Okay, so first of all let's see that what are the dictionary update and merge operator. So Python 3.9 has introduced two new union operators. The first one is the merge operator which is the pipe operator here, here you can see and this works as following. Let's say we have this A dictionary and this B dictionary. If we use this pipe operator, then we can merge these two or we can add these two. Here you can see I know Python, yes we know Python and the final output is I know Python, yes we know Python. These two are merged. Okay, now the next operator in dictionary is the update operator now if we add this equal to sign after this pipe operator then we can update a specific dictionary let's say that we want to update this a dictionary so what we'll do is we'll first of all create this a and b dictionaries then we'll do a pipe is equal to b okay so what will happen is the a dictionary will be updated with the value b here we have a with the value of I know python and in b dictionary we have yes we know python but when we use this update operator then our a dictionary is updated with I know python yes we know python. Now let's say that we have same key and different values in our dictionary. Let's say this a dictionary is having I know java and this B dictionary is having yes we know python i know python okay so this i know is same in a and b dictionary so what will happen is the final value which will be stored wherever you want let's say that you want to store in a variable c so what will happen is it will have the value of the second dictionary right so in first dictionary we were having the value java for i know but in B dictionary we were having value python for i know when we apply this uh, pipe operator then we'll get the value of the second dictionary okay so this was for dictionary now we can also use the iterable object let's say that we apply this for loop okay so this a dictionary is having value i know python and this b dictionary is having this iterable which is x comma x plus 1 so these are two values and this for loop will run now i know you are confused let me explain you that how this is working i've just missed uh, a bracket here so we'll simply add that okay so uh, this should be in the next line after that there is a line break okay so what is happening here is this for loop is going for four times actually this should be x okay this value is x so for x in range 4 what will happen is first the value is 0 so 0 will be printed and x plus 1 which is 0 plus 1 1 will be printed then the x value becomes 1 so x will be 1 and x plus 1 become 2 so this will go on until this uh, loop of 4 is completed so we can also use the iterable which is list or generator for this pipe operator. Okay, so let's move on and let's see the second update which is type hinting. Now we know that python is a 
dynamic language which means that we do not need to define the data type of a variable like we have in C we have to say that the A variable is int or this B variable is a string but we do not need to do this in Python but sometimes it can be very much error prone like let's say that uh, we consider this example only we have created this add function which is accepting two values first is x and second is y let's uh, let's forget this thing okay let's forget this thing for now okay so when we are calling this function first of all we are providing this x value which is a integer but the second value is r okay so what it will do is it will add r five times because we know how the string concatenation works so the output we want is addition but what we got was concatenation now we don't want that no error will be raised but we will not get what we want this was the problem for from python 3.5 so what this new update will do is it will let you let me remove everything from here okay so now here you can see if we say that y is an integer value then if we pass a string here like r python will raise an error saying that y should be an integer so yes we will get an error because our program was not behaving like what we want okay so this is a really important update which will help in creating bigger programs okay okay so now let's move on to the next section which is the final section having the remove prefix and remove suffix string methods now these are very simple string methods and and can be very useful for beginners to start learning strings okay so remove prefix will remove the characters before the specified character now i will explain you just wait for a second and the remove suffix will remove the character which is after a specific character now let's say that we have this string i know python okay so if we create this a variable and then store string dot remove prefix i know and then print our a variable i k n is removed okay here you can see o python so i k n is removed now let's create a b variable and then we'll do string dot remove suffix and then we'll write o n and then print our b variable then this uh, o n at the last will be removed now there should be present a uh, this is again now i know should be present here because we are working on uh, this string variable and not on this a variable okay so the b variable will be i know pipe okay so this is how the remove prefix remove suffix string method will work okay now let's move on to the next slide and see some other updates that will be present in python 3.9 now there will be new libraries introduced like graphlib and zone info now graphlib will be used for mapping i have just uh, read about it and it will help us in mapping and zone info i don't really know okay so i'll create a dedicated video for each module as soon as they are launched okay and then we have some of the updates in the modules like in date time in curses in asked okay so there will be some updates in modules now if you want to have the detailed knowledge of all the updates that will be present on python 3.9 then what you can do is you can go to the documentation now i'll provide the link below also you can go here and see all the updates like the union operators to dictionary some of the new features that are introduced in python 3.9 okay so like this is for i guess zone info uh yeah i guess okay so you can read this article and you will find a lot of details here of what are some of the new features 
that will be introduced in python 3.9 and also if you want all the knowledge of this video in written form then you can go to my blog actually i have created this blog because i want to create backup of all my content or all my videos because recently i got a community guideline strike from youtube for one of my video it was on keylogger now i have also appealed for that but they are saying it goes against our rules and regulation now i don't know what rules and regulation it was violating because it was just a simple keylogger i mean i have also said in the video that it can be used for educational purpose or it can be used for tracking someone in good way but i don't know what they thought so they removed that video and gave me a warning okay so in the worst case scenario if my channel is deleted or anything happens to my channel then you can find all the content from this channel to this blog okay so now this blog is just created i have just uploaded three blogs here but in the coming few months i will upload all the content on this blog and then you can read from here okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye